welcome to Stonehold. Hi. Great day. Are you ready? Want to come in and see the show? The spirits of peace. Come in. This is beautiful. Thank you. What a great space this is to show my new work. 14 new art paintings. I did all these after the trial, after working on the trial of Chicago 7. So I had the pleasure of uh, being in the courtroom scenes for three weeks, Sasha Baron Cohen playing Abby Hoffman. This is a propaganda piece that I did in January, February of this year. Oh, I just went crazy for the idea to revisit my trip from uh, Vietnam in 2012, where I learned about the fabulous Viet Cong female fighters in that war in 19. 68 through 72 until the Americans got pushed out by the successful Vietnamese. And uh, many Americans were protesting the war of Vietnam in 68 and Mayor Daly and um, John Mitchell uh, orchestrated an indictment against the peaceful protesters. The police had rushed in and beat the heads of peaceful demonstrators in the park in Chicago during the uh, Democratic Convention in Chicago. You know, the US government was very instrumental in creating NAPOM to disrupt and destroy people's peaceful life in southern um, Viet South Vietnam at the time. This lovely girl was 11 years old, ripped her clothes off from the heat and the burning sensation of the, of the napalm, and an American photographer captured that iconic photograph. As you see, the eagle, American Eagle is wrapping its arms around the companies of DuPont, Dow Chemical, and Monsanto with LBJ and Nixon, our presidents, complicit in making this horrific, horrible warfare. The innocent people were being killed. America in Vietnam, why? It's not our country, it's their country. Why were we there? Why were we there? All propaganda on our part. One of the American soldiers there later said, when he met a Viet Cong that they captured, he said to him, why are you fighting us so hard? And the Viet Cong looked him right in the eye and he said, this is my country. Why are you here? This is my country. And I just felt I had to do a painting of that because I love his determination and his strength. Here's uh, Sasha Beard Cohen playing Abby Hoffman in the film, The Trial of Chicago 7. Uh, Ho Chi Minh a man who traveled the world, very educated, lived in Paris, New York, was a poet, was a writer, trying to make peace for Vietnam with the United States government, um, uh, to unite his country, that was his goal. When I was there in 2012, Vietnam had been a peaceful country for 30 years. It's amazing, outstanding. Oh, Bobby Seale, he was in the trial, shouldn't have been, but he was the head of the Black Panthers, and we see what's going on today with people trying to have peaceful protests. Ramsey Clark, he was in the film, Trial of Chicago 7. I did a lot of these uh, drawings after my experience in the courtroom scenes because it's very hard to sketch. Nobody's posing for you when you're making a film. Uh, you're just an on-camera sketch artist trying to uh, be atmosphere for the movie. A lovely actor, um, Mark Rylance, played Kunstler in the film. Uh, I had to research the internet just to get pictures, close-ups of some of the actors like Jeremy Strong. He played uh, Jerry Rubin. And then over here, um, there's a famous photographer that took this picture of a Saigon officer assassinating in the streets a Viet Cong individual who had already been, his weapons had already been taken care, uh, taken away from him. And he's, as you see, he's handcuffed. Now, I'm looking at this image. I see myself in it. What am I in this? Is there a relationship here? Did I create this? I'm, I'm witnessing it. And what do you see today when you're looking at things in the newspaper and, and injustices? We have a right to protest. We have a right to have our voices heard. And it should be done in a peaceful way. And we know many times in society, the government infiltrates uh, bad apples into a peaceful effort in society. There's so many injustices and we can't not be active. And that was my mission to make this uh, work of art um, so that people could enjoy a beautiful image and then go deeper and see where, where they stand in it and also to see the horror that man creates.